G'day dear friends, welcome to Exrisa. My name is Chrissy, and thank you for joining me in this session. Uh, okay, I have talked about this set of pastels and uh, what we're going to do or what I'm going to do is test them and I just wanted to talk a little bit about them. I, I don't know too much because I'm only just discovering these ones and so for all of those who are aware of um, um, Diane Townsend's Artist Pastels um, you know I'll be happy for your um, input as well uh, hello Marcy yes excited to see how bright these are I'll tell you what they're bloody bright um, Cherry hello Paulo hello Nuria hello okay all right so uh, I've got a few things well first of all um, let me just put this down this is pastel mat the paper that I'm going to be practicing on is pastel mat so well it's my paper of choice so that's why all right hi Shandri hello okay the set um, now Diane Townsend she uh, this is a um, it's not a very you know it's not a very big organization as far as pastels are concerned but um, Diane Townsend makes her own and they're handmade pastels so uh, with that and the box is really nothing specific I have to say but I don't care about that you know because I love packaging but I'm not testing packaging I'm having a look at the pastels now there's lots of sets that Diane Townsend has and she, there are two kinds there is the soft form that's the name and then there's the tirages which I'll explain a little later on but for the purposes of this um, uh, live stream let's have a look uh, and they're very nicely packaged I mean they're very safe so here we go oh my gosh look at that now, I don't know whether you're getting the color, the the brightness of it. I don't think there is another and I've and I've got a few pastel brands. I don't think that there is a manufacturer who makes the neons like this, like this, you know, I'm each one that I look at they are just super bright. Now, if you're going to tell me about light fastness, look, I I wouldn't know too much about the light fastness, but I suppose if um, if you're doing like um, florals, this would be this would be just putting those special little accents on it. Oh, look, a really really nice. So. Um, some time back on a live stream I said that I was waiting for these pastels to come through and they have and they oh just gorgeous just just gorgeous and my other set which we're going to talk about is the metallic now I think on screen it's not going to show you how lovely and um, metallic they are but here they are here and I think the ones that you could probably see the shine on would be maybe this gold. Please don't ask me what the colours are. I don't know what the colours are off my... Oh, I wonder if they glow under black. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi Angie. Hello, hello. Um, yes, so there's a few like this copper one. Yeah, which we're going to test, right? And oh, just some magnificent looking and there's you know bling you know me and my bling I like my bling all right so I'll just put these aside and we're going to test each one as we go so just let me see let me now please don't criticize me on my lines they're crooked I think I was doing it when I was half asleep <laughs> so here we go um Alright, I'm going to start off with this neon orange now, uh, and I'll talk about it as I'm using them. To be honest, um, the see, they're not all perfectly shaped, okay? So, <clears throat> and I think I like that about it, you know, the fact that it's handmade. 
So what I'll do is, um, um, they're soft, they're not hard. Uh, now, of course, we know with uh, pastel mat, uh, the surface is quite stubborn and you need lots of layers. Oh, look, I just, you know, really, really nice. Um, okay, uh, you want the neon. And, mm. <laughs> okay, I was wondering th that, Chrissy, was looking at the lines and was thinking if the paper, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> yes, I oh, know, no, no, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now just, um, now a long time ago, this is before I got these where I, now, oh, for, oh, here we go. I should put a disclaimer is that I have paid for these, right? So um, these were not given to me to review. I have paid for these. And so my opinions will be my own. Uh, I'm under no obligation to say anything um, negative or positive. Uh, you know, it's just my opinions and the way um, I, you know, how I lay these down myself. So I just thought I'd, I'd better say that right at the beginning or almost at the beginning. Super bright, says Angela. Yes. All right. Neon. Okay. Just a little bit. Um, I, um, I'm just, I am just discovering Diane Townsend. I haven't had, like, what kind of pink is that? cheap as creepers like that is just that is just gorgeous gorgeous you can imagine when you're doing florals I think that would be now I don't know what the different I think this is slightly darker looks the same but anyway mm, that looks similar surely they didn't put the same one 804 oh yeah only yeah they are slightly this one is slightly brighter than that one yes so uh, okay some of the things I've read about Diane Townsend's pastels uh, she started making these in uh, 1971 and she was making this for herself to begin with and just a few artist friends in the beginning you know so um oh my gosh look how look how bright they are that is bloody super bright okay they look yeah the the pinkest pink yes um they look butter smooth yes all of those things that you're saying yes here we go with this uh okay oh and oh, hello Abigail omg what a color wow hi there for, yes okay neon orange yes okay so yeah so she started this company in 1971 and was making uh, pastels uh, for herself so um, and as I mentioned before oh look at this jeepers my gosh that is like the brightest oh look it's almost so bright that it's reflecting from the lights underneath. That is just something else. Um, okay. Yeah, the blue is... I mean, if you're comparing the blue with these neons, I, I mean, it's not as impressive, but it's still really nice, okay? I'm just... I'm not... But I'm not going to, yeah, say anything bad about these because look, look at the colours. Oh my gosh, I can't get over it. Okay, a neon green. You know those highlighters that you get? You know, oh, I don't know, here in Australia we've got these highlighters that when you're writing and you wanted to highlight a specific thing. Anyway, we call them highlighters. And we've got like lime green, lime, um, lime green, we've got orange, we've got, um, you know, uh, pink and all of that. This is what it reminds me of. Um, you love them all, Nuria, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, 
so okay so yeah so yes in 19 yeah and so so then so then she decided then to start making these on her own oh my gosh look how bright that is um that is gorgeous yes and so and the pigments that or sorry the the and this is what i've read okay uh so what i've read was is that uh, the, the formula is based on an Italian formula, based, shall I say, and uh, probably modified over the years. But um, that is what um, I've read, and very rich in pigment. The only, th yeah, that's the only thing I don't know about. Oh, wow. Those two are similar, but I think that's more on the green side and what that's more on the yellow side. Oh, yes. And that's a different blue. Wow. 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 Well... Um, and there's lots of, that they've, um, Diane Townsend's uh, um, pastels come in various sets. There's, look, there would be, there's, there's quite a few sets. I, I can't name them all. But of course, you know, I'm just talking about these. Um, Cherry, I could be persuaded to pick up soft pastels uh, for these colours. Oh, yes. Um, okay, uh, let me see. Okay, 68 euros, says um, Shandry from uh, Jackson's. For those people maybe in the Northern Hemisphere. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hi, Nan. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Okay, you might have warned us to use eye protection. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. That's exactly what I should have done, Nan. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so this is the fluorescent set, and this is how they come. So, you know, um, uh, fairly basic, almost uh, the attention has gone all on the pastel, okay? So, you know, packaging also costs as well, so I'm actually quite happy with that. And I'm not going, because usually I how I store these, I store all my pastel in groups, you know what I mean? So, like in groups of yellows, groups of pinks and reds and whatever. But I think with these, I'm going to keep them in the box, I think. I think this is what I will do. Um, yes. Yeah. So, all right. So, this is the fluorescent ones. Very, very nice. Uh, handmade. And these ones are called soft form. There are two types. Okay. So, let's just put that aside just for the moment. And now I'm going to, um, well, I've got this, um, uh, I've got this wet towel and look, the neon is actually coming onto the, that's how bright you can, that's how bright these are. The color residue is on that. Okay. So metallics now, oh, metallics. How can these metallics be used? Well, again, same kind of thing. Accenting or, um, you know, putting in a bit of bling on an existing... Um, um, sorry. An ex oh, I, was just, I was just looking at the, the bling or the shine on this. I was distracted. They're gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <gasps> smooth very smooth can I just tell you this is probably the first metallic that I've used that hasn't scratched the pastel and it shimmers oh boy does it shimmer and you can't see that it does but it, it's shimmering oh that is so nice okay this looks Oh, Andrea, hello. Nice to see you here. Wow, I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope all is well with you, my dear. Okay, um, this one is more, I would say, champagne. 
Oh, and it shimmers. And it's not offering resistance. I'm in, oh, I'm impressed. And there's a reason why I'm impressed because I'm going to show you something. I, I wanted to compare metallic with metallic. Now, I've got the Sennelier pastels, which are metallic, and I've purposely uh, going to show you or introduce them in this live stream because I want you to see the difference. Okay, so hang in for that at the end. Um, wow, that's so nice. Okay, this is um, a lovely creamy colour. And again, very soft. Very soft. Um, and I, I've been um, I've been reading also that uh, she uses pumice in um, as part of the binder in this. So it's interesting. That's very nice. Not as shimmery as I would have liked, but um, that's all right. This one is interesting. Oh, it's a gold. Oh. You can't see. I wish I could show you. You can't see, but I'm telling you now, I can see the shimmer. Okay. I love that they are um, handmade and not perfectly shaped. Okay, this is like an olive, a pale olive green. Or some kind of pale gold. If only I could show you the shimmer. Maybe I could show you the shimmer on here. Oh, it's probably, you can probably best see the shimmer on the pastel. Let's just do this. So you can see this properly. Oh, look at that. I just, I want the number on that. There we go. Do you see what I mean? Look at that. That is so nice. Now this was 608 and this is 607. There we go. Well, not 60, but 607. So it's slightly different. Uh, probably more on the greeny side. This is more on the yellowy side. So nice. Actually, what I'll do is, is I'll, this is what I'll do. I'll put that there so I know that that's that color. How about that? Wow. I'll have to take this one off so you can see. Oh, look at the gold bit there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I have those Sennelliers too. Yes, Shandri. Yeah, they're not, um, they're a bit scratchy. That's my problem. That's my problem. Hang on, let me. Okay, let's just do that. I just want to. It's probably the best way to do it. But look at. You can see the gold in it. And I love the imperfection of it. Imagine rolling these out all the time. It's interesting. You, you, do you imagine? It's like um, rolling out dough, wouldn't it? Like you've got a, I don't know, it's a funny thing that just entered my head. Okay, so, uh, okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I waste a lot of time on YouTube. <laughs> What's that? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Mika, oh, what's this? Did I miss something? Oh yeah, when I see them, I want to make them. It really, um, it really is a child's play, mixing equal amount of pigment and chalking and a few drops of binder, kneading, letting dry, and that's it. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, we can't see the sparkle. Yes, I know, Sh I know, Shandri. I understand that. It's so hard to see the sparkle, but I assure you, it is there. There is a shimmer. Okay. I think this is probably the best way to do this, I think. Uh, this is like a light silver. 
almost uh, pleasant, uh, very pleasant, actually looking, or iridescent, no, iridescent, pleasant. Ah. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I think this is, because, yeah, I'm just cutting, I'm just taking the packaging off so I could show you what the, um, So I think you can best see the shimmer. There we go. I think that's it. Yeah, the shimmer. When I put it up into the light like that. And this is like a dark silver. Actually like a, a gun metal. It's gun metal, like a gun metal silver grey. Oh, g'day Deb. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, okay, if you were, if you are learning, then that is not waste. Oh, okay. Hang on, let me go back. Okay, what would you, what would you? Sorry, I've got to go back up here. Can you hold up close to the camera? Yep. Okay. What, uh, what would you? Nan says to. What would you? What would you use for metallic? That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now this one is a very, this one is a, what I would consider a, a warm, a warm brown, a warm brown. Well, it's almost not, not quite Van Dyke brown. I wouldn't call it Van Dyke brown. And it's got the shimmer that this one has got is copper, like a coppery. I'm just trying to get the, the light on it. If you can see the light. Yep. Oh look, this is lovely. You can't see it, but oh. really nice. Really nice. Um hang on. Don't want to contaminate oh. Don't want to contaminate that stupid what I just said because it's pastels it's very messy all the time per um okay uh yeah shandry yeah the um yeah the sennelier are scratchy all right here we go this is one that i've been looking forward to swatching or testing Okay. What I might do, let me just zoom in. I think I'm just going to zoom in. Maybe if I zoom in, you'll be able to see. Give me a minute or a second. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Maybe, 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 just, yeah, just trying to get that shimmer going. All right, so we have what looks like, um, like a, a gold, like a, 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 a dark gold, whereas the other one is um, a, a pale gold. Have a look at that. There you go. I think that's a better way to see that shimmer. Yes, it's like a dark gold. So soft, hey? Eh? So soft. I can't believe how soft they are. I was expecting scratchiness, to be honest. I'm not getting that at all. Now this, I think, is like a like a Van Dyke brown, I think, but with shimmer. 
and it looks like it's got gold through it this one <clears throat> very nice whereas the other that other dark brown has got copper in it so it's more warm I think or but yeah oh this is lovely oh my gosh yes this one is more on the warm side as you can yeah more on the warm side and that's more on the cool side oh these are lovely oh my gosh all right so Oh, you think my focus is off. Okay. Is it? Is it okay? All right. Let me just back up then a little bit. All right. Okay. Okay. Just popping in to say hi. I love the, the pink, the pinks and the purples. They look fluorescent to me. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Um, I've been cleaning my glasses like crazy. Now I know why. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Hi, Ali. Hello. Didn't see you come in. Welcome, welcome. Chrissy, just pop. Yeah. Oh, sorry. It wasn't Deb. Uh, it was Ali saying, just popping in to say hi. I love the pinks and purples. They look fluorescent to me. Yes. All right. So letting you know, with the Diane Townsend, she also makes these ones, these size ones. I've purchased these previously as well. And the difference between, uh, the reason why uh, these were made is because for more vigorous type of painting, um, you know, probably for larger areas, who knows, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. So that's the difference between them. And that's what they're called, Tourage. That This is the Tourage and this is called the soft form, the, um, the size, as you can see. So we're talking about, when we're talking about these beautiful bright colours, oh my gosh, these lovely pinks, these lovely fluorescent yellows and greens and look at that orange like I can't get past like or oh, this I don't know red orange I, I can't get past I can't get past any of them so I can definitely see some really cool projects um, or enhancing some of my pastel paintings with pans and stuff like that definitely uh, can see that all right when we're talking about comparing Okay, it's still off, Chrissy. Is it? Is it? Okay, maybe it's the um, sorry, Deb. I, I could be the connection. Maybe it's my um, it'd be me. Okay, it's still off. All right, uh, I okay I don't know how else to this is an automatic thing so um, all right let's just see what happens thank you for telling me though Deb thank you for telling me all right so if we're going to compare apples with apples uh, the metallics that I have are here from uh, Sennelier uh, Sennelier are uh, beautiful 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 pastels it's a uh, they have beautiful art supplies um, but when I started using these they were scratchy right and so I was reluctant to use them in my projects um, but what I'll do is I will we'll have another crack at it all right and I'll compare them again Hi, hi, Kayomi. Hi, Sarah. Hello. Hi, Jelena. Hello. It's focused for me. So, oh, okay. All right. Okay. It could be my connection. I'm not sure. All right. 
So if I'm, yeah, like I said, if I'm comparing apples with apples or oranges with oranges, uh, let's have a go of what I think is close to some of these. Okay, so if I'm comparing, I'm going to compare those two. I'm going to compare Oh, let's go this one. It's closer. Uh, I don't have a yellow gold with the Diane Townsend, but I think that one might be the go with that one. Let me just tear that off so you can see that. I'll put that there. That goes there so I know that. All right. Oh gosh, don't. Oh, I'm going to confuse myself. I know I am. Okay, that goes there. All right. So I'm going to compare. Here we go. Okay, Diane Townsend. Now they're soft, going down really super soft, not giving me any resistance. Okay, that's not so bad. All right, this one's okay. Wow, there we go. Gee, that copper is so nice. Ah, now this is scratching. It's scratching. It's scratching. Maybe I have to break it. Maybe use the other side. I probably have to break it, I reckon. It's not that bad, but a bit more not as soft as these ones. Let's try this one here. And I'll bring it up close. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that's that one. And one more. What can I use? All right. Well, I'll show you. Yeah, scratchy. It's scratching. It's not as soft. Okay, it's harder. So it would come down to the pigment. I'm um, sorry, the binder, I would say. It's always the binder. Oh, Angela, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, oh, make me blush. Um, okay, I'm starting from the beginning and playing it at... <laughs> Double speed. Horsewoman, hello, hello. Okay, Neurotic Nation, hello, hello. I think the sommeliers sometimes have a weird hard coding, and I think you are correct. I think that you are correct. So I think it all depends when you're, you know, when you've got your, pro when you're doing your project. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to, I don't know, like maybe, because if you scratch, then you might put scratchy lines on a particular subject. Do you know what I mean? So I suppose for the harder pastel, if there's something, I don't know, if there's like a line that you want to do, or if there's something like that, then I think, okay, I think it's the Mika that is scratchy. It looks more shiny. Yeah. The Sennelier do look more shiny, and I'm going to bring it up to you right now. So that's the Sennelier here. All right, so let's just put that. Oh, hang on. How about if I do? I'll do that, and I'll bring it up. Now you can't, you can't, you can't see the shimmer, but I assure you that it's there. Uh, you can see. Um, 
you can probably see that's the shimmer in the sennelier you can definitely see that uh, those two it's fairly obvious you can see that yes and uh, even hang on I want you to see the shimmer on this as well I'm going to put that let me just put that in my box here okay now I'm not sure if you can see the shimmer you can definitely see it in the Sennelier but I'm not sure if you can see it in the um, in the dia in the soft form Diane Townsend one beautiful though very very nice very very nice so let's see with the erasing capability um, and I'll put that aside let's just see with the yeah with the erasing capability of these okay here we go all right let's just try oh look there's shimmer oh my gosh <laughs> there's shimmer on the um kneaded eraser oh wow um uh, yeah <laughs> uh, okay it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't uh, if it wasn't complicated with I need all the colors yes okay let's just see what happens okay it's picking it up no problem the neon yep it's picking it up no problem um, I'm going to use this kneaded eraser because because I'm in the middle of a project so I don't want to get the I don't know the shimmer maybe it might be a good thing to have the shimmer on the on my paintings but the ones that I'm in the middle of okay so that works for there let's just see for um, with um, with the Diane Townsend oh yeah lifting no problem so that's all okay let me try the darker one I do love that warm brown though with the copper it really is nice oh. yep okay okay no problem in lifting okay and the shimmer's gone with it all right so I thought that I would just do a very uh, quick little sketch um, okay a quick little sketch just just to show you how they apply um, okay Julian okay I th yeah okay um, uh, I have a handful of unison but not use them yet oh here we go Jelena pull them out pull them out uh, um, okay they feel like a different medium compared with the pans meaning a different way to use them absolutely okay change of technique absolutely yes so uh, I thought I would just do like a simple little apple uh, I just want to see what they're like uh, uh, maybe I don't know maybe do um, I don't know what they're going to be like mixing fluoron metallic I'm not sure uh, but it's worthwhile doing that uh, maybe using the Tourage, uh, maybe, which is not metallic and not fluorescent. So maybe I could use that instead as a little base. Uh, green apple, maybe. And uh, soft form. How about we use the soft form? There we go. Okay. Um, okay, just so I know what color I'm playing with. All right, that'll be, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, yes, uh, but Unis, uh, sorry, uh, Jelena, Unison are very, very nice pastels. Very, very nice pastel. Uh, they have some wonderful sets. 
Okay. Look, this is a quick little sketch. I want to see how they how they apply on pastel mat. Um, okay, and Abigail says all the economy experts keep telling us to invest in silver and gold. Seeing these great colours, I really want to. <laughs> ah, the famous kneaded eraser. Yes, eh, yes. <laughs> no teeth, no teeth. <laughs> funny very very funny um. <laughs> oh these are lovely and soft by the way um yes uh also now while i'm just um quietly uh testing these out i uh, just wanted to talk to you about our our group painting uh all the places have been filled uh, and I can read out the names of who is going to participate uh, if you would um, yeah there's only going to be uh, for 12 uh, 12 places uh, we've got we've got Heba we've got Oksana, Avigail, Shandri, Nuria, Deb, Sneaks, uh, Robin, Angela, Heidi, Heidi V, Cece, and he our friend Helen. Okay, so um, let's see how we go with that. Uh, and I, uh, all of the details will be announced in uh, the Facebook uh, page. Uh, share your art or group sorry rather share your art with x Art, um, and I will uh, and I think I've got everyone's uh, uh, direct messenger I will message I, or I could message you through um, email I could probably send all of these via email or or messenger your your portion of the painting and for those who are probably just wondering what is a group painting okay every year well every year probably for the last I think three years or so uh, we've been uh, doing a a group painting so what happens is there is one painting and it gets divided into I will be back yeah I've got you down for backup if I've yes and my backup are Cherry and Nan um, and I've Nanette, you and Cherry, uh, if you have a look, I've tagged you two ladies in the um, uh, in the post, so you know exactly what's happening with you as well. So, uh, definitely. Uh, um, oh yes. So, yeah. So what happens is there's a, a portion of the painting that gets delivered to. Uh, to you, uh, you're not to reveal what it is uh, because it's sort of like a surprise. There will be a reveal video and there's a reveal image. So what happens is um, you go away. You can use any medium, uh, any anything. You can do it coloured pencil, anything, anything, and you don't have to. All you have to do is send it back to me via digital. Okay, so. There'll be no mailing in the post or sending it back to me or anything like that. All you've got to do is take a high resolution photo. So when I'm putting it together, it fits like a like a jigsaw puzzle, so to speak. Uh, yeah. And then um, I'll put it together and now that's our group painting. So this time I've, I've only limited to a few places uh, because it was just too much trouble chasing everyone it was getting too much so um and it, and everyone we can thank we can thank oksana for that because she's reminded us about this uh project so gotta go help my daughter for her school dance thank you for the stream chrissy and look forward to the group project way to go all right so i just want to clean my hands i'm going to be using some of these fluoros on here now i want to add um Okay, what colours? It's not going to be traditional apple, but I just thought I'd put a base down. Um, let me see, something bright. Uh, down here I want something light and underneath there's something dark. Uh, looks like the light is coming this way. So let's just start. 
So if we're using this on top of, oh yeah, no problem. Oh my gosh. Blends very nicely too. Wow. Look at that, hey. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay, this apple has got yeah, shimmer's not coming too much on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. It's just <sighs> lovely and shimmery oh my gosh it is so shimmery oh and some of that has just gone onto the fluoro the shimmer and that's really really nice oh it's all right it's all dark here here's my little shadow uh something in my color choices i don't have much color choice here in this situation but that's all right maybe put it yeah okay um Okay. Oh my gosh, where did I take that out from? That goes there. I just want to make sure that I don't get it all confused. Um, all right, let's go. Let's go some bright neon here. Yep. This is nice. This is really, really nice, by the way. So nice. Oh, I love these pastels. Wow. I really do love these. Oh, yeah, nice. Um, okay, we'd love to see the dance. Oh yes, the dance. Okay, um, the school dance for Oksana, uh, for Oksana's daughter. Yeah, still drooling. They are amazing. And if you really want to see it, up, yeah, uh, see it. Use up light, uh, UV. Okay, true testament that values matter, not necessarily color. Yes, absolutely. A thousand million percent. I, I can't agree any more than what you just said there. Um, um. Oh yes, I like that. I like this much. Uh, and I, I need something bright here again. Yep, and now, now this is another apple Eve wouldn't be able to resist. Yes, okay, <laughs> okay. Sorry, uh, Deb says, Chrissy, are they soft enough to use your pan techniques with? Okay, well, what we're going to do is it's a very good question because I want to use these in. Um, uh, together with the pans. So I do have Now this is really interesting. That's why I've got these Look at that. Is that not neon to you? Is that not neon? 
Okay, so definitely I'm going to be using that. So let's compare or let's do something. I'll do something. Uh, oh, let's hang on. All right, and here we go. Like, are they not already like that? Hang on, I'm just trying to find. Do you know what I mean? Like, some of these colours are so bright already. Hang on, there's ones. Okay. All right. And, heck, let me just get a magenta out. Oh no, it's oh I can't get to the drawers at the moment. I've got too many too many things in front of it. But look at that. That is something. All right, I will. Okay, let's just say, for example, uh, well. I don't know. I'll just I'll what I'll do is I'll do a, a pan pastel layer and see what would I didn't have enough room to do another apple, so look how damn bright that is. That is super bright. Wow. Oh yeah, that just makes it, it just pushes it to that extra level. Crikey, look at that. Oh, Jake. Oh, wow, that is so cool. This is definitely the coolest thing out. Oh my gosh. Yes, definite. What is that? Like, what is that? God. That is something. Isn't it? That is just something. Okay, I'm going to try green. Now, this is phthalo green, okay? I mean... Okay, I'm going to zoom in. I think I'm going to zoom in, but I just want you to see what I'm picking. Is that, that good enough? Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's just put that down there. Hang on. Just need to... Okay. Uh, am I on the list? Horsewoman, you are on the list. Yes. Um, I na um, If you go back, I named... I named you as on the list. So, um, I was just wondering, could you send me an email or... Uh, if you're not on Facebook, um, yeah, send me an email. The My email address is in the description box below so I can send you your portion. So yes, you are on the list. Uh, sounding very happy with your purchase. Yes, I am, Angela. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, Deb says, Chrissy, will the tool pull enough color off the new pastel? Will the tool pull enough color off the new pastel? What, hang on. Oh, explain to me. That's what I was wondering too. Well, what, what what do you mean? Like, what, um, oh, I don't understand. Oh, can, oh, sorry. I'm not getting it. Um, the, uh, do you mean using the soft tool? Is that what you mean? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Please explain it to me another way. I'm not getting it. I'm sorry. <sighs> D 
this neon is taking it okay use the tool on your new pastels oh oh like on here you mean I see what you mean uh, yeah swipe the tool over the chunk okay all right hang on a sec I just need to get I just need to get more sponges so hang on a sec hang on um, where's my sponges where are my sponges hang on a sec hang on hang on Now I know what you mean. Grab the paint from the soft tool. <laughs> okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Let me just use these little ones, hey? It's the same, it's the same material. I've got to work at it. Not much is coming off. Grab the paint from the soft tool. That is so weird. I, I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure to get this off. It doesn't happen. Okay, let me try another colour just in case. I'll try the other side. Hang on. So it could be on just certain colours, maybe? not as vibrant and not as solid not as opaque but it could be this oh no oh yeah yeah no. yeah i've got to try real hard they don't pick up really well no that's right interesting thank you for the question there deb that's pretty good to know but then I suppose being with the pan yeah if I was to do that um, hang on yep hang on oh uh, yeah could yeah interesting Yeah, I suppose I, now, if we're talking about soft tools, uh, what about if I use my brush? That's something, because I use that quite a bit, actually. And this one, this is a brush by Holbein for pastels, by the way, so I'll use that. But let's just see. probably creating dust more than anything else but yeah still not that's very interesting yes let's try the Holbein brush oh, hardly anything's coming off that it's just powder yeah no nah. no hmm good question good question all right, let's just see what happens with the metallic. Say if I've got, okay, here's something. Hang on, let me just wipe this. Okay, maybe from the bottom they could have some protection coating. Yeah, that's something. Oh, bugger. Well, there you go. Oh, oh well, no matter. Okay, well, this is good. Doesn't matter that it breaks because we break our pastels anyway. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Just let me do that. Okay. 
Now that's the inside. Um, a little bit more, but not that much more. Okay, the tarages probably have more binding agent. Okay. Hmm. Okay, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind that they break, that's fine, because I usually break these when I'm using them anyway, so that's fine. Um, okay, so I'm going to use now the metallics, say on this, say for example if you're doing a, a leaf, you know, if you and you wanted to add a bit of bling, so this is a... Uh, let me see, this is a chrome green, is it chrome? Yeah, chrome green, chrome green shade. And maybe I should have gone extra dark, but anyway. And if I wanted to use, say, this lovely metallic colour, which... Oh, yes, 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 yes. That would add... Just that bit of sparkle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Is all I'm going to say. Yes. Um, okay. Well. I think this is really cool. Okay. Let me just use. Let me just use that color. Now this is the bright yellow green. I know what that is. That is bright yellow green from Pen, and I wanted to maybe. Um, how much lighter can I get? Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh. Yep. Oh yes, okay, now I'm convinced I'm actually going to use these for my project, which I'm going to show you in a sec. Uh, uh, just wanted to also let you know that um, I, I am on Patreon, and for those who uh, want to, you know, it's uh, that Patreon with me is more about building your confidence rather than showing, of course I show you how to do something, that's the whole point of it, of course. But um, what I, what my main aim uh, with Patreon with me is to give you confidence. And so we do uh, what we will, you know, we do little projects here and there. And I'm definitely and one project that we're in the middle of, which was requested by one of the patrons, is this one moment. Is this now? Under the lights, you can't. It's 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 sort of showing that it's a bit wishy washy. But I can tell you now, it's actually quite vibrant. But I am going to be using this is a black, uh, a red tail black uh, cockatoo. Okay, so I'm definitely going to be using some bling, and of course, you know, I've taken some artistic license. It's not exactly black, is it? There's a bit of blue here and there. So. Um, but I'll definitely be, and it's sitting on a, on a branch or a bit of bark or something. So I'm definitely going to be using some of these metallics for the bark. You know, just not too much, but just enough. Um, uh, and I will be using, uh, I will be using, um, who knows, maybe one of the blues or some or something i don't know i'll see how i go um for that now as far as this is concerned oh my gosh like the biggest wow out one more let me try some blue to try um maybe one of these blues on here uh, i think that's what i'll do yep but yes wow this apple looks okay, actually. <laughs> uh, does it need a little bit more? It might need a little bit more. I might. But let's just have a look with the pan. This is uh, Thalo. Uh, Thalo Blue. 
uh, extra dark or shade I think it is shade extra dark yeah I was right Sh extra dark and uh, what I might use is just a bit of that blue there oh yes lovely not as neon as probably all of those other ones are uh, maybe something metallic perhaps maybe a silver oh yes lovely and of course pans also do make um, you know their metallic colors as well but you know we're talking mixing with the way I paint because I usually paint a lot with um, uh, pans of course but you know soft pastels yeah oh I love the I love these I love these a lot so okay do you feel like adding some neon to the projects you have made like the woman from last week you know what where is she she's right behind me and you know what I'm gonna do it I'm tempted <laughs> yes I am tempted for sure for sure so folks this is um, oh I love that I love that oh, so here we go something to think about uh, if you wanted to add a bit of that pizzazz maybe to your projects um, yeah I just uh, like them look I'm not going to even tell you how much they cost because I you know like I if you're getting them in Australia you'd pay a fortune probably not so much in America and maybe Jackson's as well you know loving these colors loving these gorgeous gorgeous colors and i don't have to wait for them to dry isn't that good yep all right then folks um thank you so much for um for joining me in this session and for all of those who are uh you know checking this out on the replay um i think next week i'm going to do a small uh small project uh where i can incorporate all of this stuff um, it'll be a very small one so uh, thank you all so much for joining me and for all of those who are, uh, are participating in the group painting um, I will be um, messaging you shortly I have something very nicely planned okay Chrissy have you gifted yourself <laughs> no Karen Dash two-sided palette yet no no I haven't gifted myself I like that I like the way you put that should I put that on my list? Probably. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, look, thank you so much. Um, I'll see you again next week. And um, we'll, um, yeah, take care and have a nice weekend. All right, then. Uh, bye for now, everyone.